discords I'm on. Oh, thank you. Also, we are. I wonder, should I put this in the monster prom because it's the Kickstarter characters? Yeah, they'll, they'll find it. Also, because I know it's one thing. They finally made it so there's not two categories for this game on Twitch. Wait, but there were two categories? Yeah, there? there was Monster Camp and then Monster Prom, Monster Camp 2. For whatever reason. And now they finally Monster condensed it to, to one category. Monster Prom 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. All right. Bet, bet a bit since we played this a few months. So we got new PCs and new outfits. Be I have not played this since the uh, first time. Uh, the demo, play? the, the, uh, the beta. I have never played. Long it time ago. Wow, you you have missed so much. All right, we got four players, full game, 120 minutes is a big fat lie. Yeah, uh, I can't believe they would okay, don't say that. Everything because I've never seen it. Yeah. All right. Ah, camp spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. In the fall. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. And alcohol. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. Because that's what you do at corners. And for us, it did. Now, uh, we are playing with a clay golem, a dolahan, a cat oh, boy. all the new ones? I'm disappointed, yeah. with the, I'm disappointed with the mummy girl, because we already got a mummy in the last pack. How many characters are there? Show me some. Uh, that looks like there's 12 in total. Yeah, so you have the original cast. And then a few months ago, we got a uh, non-binary demon, mummy guy, thunder girl, and squid boy. And then just last week, I'm pretty sure, we got uh, the Kickstarter exclusive. So only a few people have this. Wow. And since I paid so the extra money, I'm going first. Them. What? Yeah, we're all, you, you, you pick it from these four. And I'm going first because I paid extra. I'm taking the dole hand. I don't know what a dual hand is. Uh, basically, I'm... just think headless horseman, just the head separate. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, there's dual hands in Dokapon Kingdom. I've been uh, telling you, man, if we get two more people, I am down to play, but no one else wants to play it. As you didn't try to bring it to the uh, to the trip. I I actually contemplated it, but num but you PS2 was not among the things yeah, you said you were bringing. Uh, it was not. I thought you said it was a Wii game. Uh, it's it, also it, on the it's Wii. I have it on PS2. Um, I, I've heard from when I've checked it out for doing the Parsec setup, it seems the Wii version is better. I, I want to be the mummy. Have no problem with the PS2 version. But right. either way, I mean, we weren't going to play a full game of Dokapon Kingdom over the course. Yeah, you, you yeah. said it's very, very long. Very long. All right, so <laughs> I have. Well, you guys can keep talking while I go through this. Let's see, we got two May crosswords, the Lemonade Daki Makara. <laughs> Mick Griffin EP, Sword of Roar, MC King of the Burton. Lions, Sleeping Beauty Bag, A Wood Carving Machete, Hipster Costume, The Multi Tool, and A Sketchbook. That is a multi tool. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, you need a syringe. I want the sketchbook because that sounds cool. Uh, we got to be prepared, so we need a multi tool. And I'm and gonna need some comfy. The Thundercats? I'm gonna take a lemonade Daki Makara. I need my drink foo. Alright, I wanna be the mummy. Okay. So you'll take the mummy, we'll just do that. What do you want your name to be? Arsenal. A R S I N O E. There you go. Yep. Okay. Think you can keep up? Oh, with Vigil. It? These determine your stats. So, you have magma trekking boots, a philosopher's stone growing kit, a canned brain, competitive tarot, a BFF <laughs> bracelet tarot, kit, it. Scott snacks, a hipster costume, the sword of Roar, and a wood carving machete. Wait, there's right, more well, than the sword of Roar. Roar. What is the full name there? King of the Lion. Uh, the competitive tarot. 
And I'll take. Also, I like how the brains. hipster costume. Not a hipster well, outfit. Canned brains. Canned brains. Okay. All right, Shima Hinkle, fight to the death over who goes third. Hinkle, do you have a preference? Yeah, um, I mean, I can be. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, cat boy. Uh, you can go ahead and be the cat boy. I'll be the clay girl then. Okay, we'll have Shima third. Shima, what do you want your name to be? Uh, um, good question. Call me Ishmael. Yeah, uh, call me. <laughs> oh, uh, call me. Uh, call me Diana. Call me the clay, the clay woman. Uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was born out of clay. Uh, Sorry, you spell it. Uh, one N. One N. There. Perfect. <laughs> okay, you have a Sudoku Rubik's cube. I thought Rubik. I thought Rubik's was with a K. Are we saying it wrong all this time? Rubik's cube. Uh, okay. I meant X. Rubik. Maybe, maybe Rubik's is trademarked. Oh, maybe. Okay, Sudoku Rubik Cube, very strong insect repellent, the wood carving machete, a pocket therapist, a sock puppet, oh, go full Mabel. Iron Maiden <laughs> sleeping bag, north facing moss, no dragon hook. heat, and coral comb. Uh, give me the sock puppet. Yeah. All uh, right. So, sorry. I, I want to uh, say it is. It is Rubik's, as in R U B I K apostrophe S. Ah, okay. Uh, give me the therapist in a pocket. Okay. And uh, what was the top one again? The top middle. Well, Very people's... strong insect repellent. Uh, give me the, give me the wood carving machete, because you never know when if I'm made of clay, then I might need it to cut my hair. All right, and Hinkle, what do you want your name to be? What are those preset options? Uh, it's it's the color, then the canon name, and then your custom name. Um, because I think these are all uh, people. I think people made these. Like these were like tears. Like oh, I want my OC in the game. My OC is better than yours. Just name it Felicia and then change the pronoun to she. Yeah, okay. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Okay. Always be cat girl. <laughs> Even it. when boy. <laughs> okay, you ha also have the Sudoku Rubik's Cube, a Hellfire Portable Barbecue, a Tardigrade Plush, the Coloring Hawaiian Shirt, a Cursed Pen, Business Anal Paste, Penguin mask, hipster costume, and very strong insect repellent. I gotta go with the penguin mask for the reverse Romanian Wilkinson. Um, it, the the business anal paste because I'm so confused. I must. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I, I just really love the concept of the hipster costume. Okay. Hipster starter pack. It's a, it's a disguise. It's not your real outfit. Ah, uh, one might say that the monster prom had hardened us to the highs and lows of love. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening, just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whatever, whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravi Mishra, 22, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculester Hewlett Packard, version 1.1, a library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. 
Dahlia Aquino, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering Summer next. Damien LaVey, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo Belladonna, 23, maybe, a death reaper doubling as internet influencer who and who was profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear. It all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Okay, which of these animals do you like the most? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with peacocks, because I like those feathers. I mean, pick of all of these, the hardest animal to throw. <laughs> all right, Vigil, which, which of these animals do you like the most? One moment. Chickens, they can kill you. What? Crocodiles. Shima, which animals do you like the most? Badgers. Badgers don't give a fuck about anything. And hey, cool. Honey badgers don't. Honey hey, badgers I don't care. Bad. Honey badgers don't give a fuck. If it, honey badgers take what it wants. Okay, who wants to voice the Reaper? Uh, uh I got. Well, wait. What did you say? What? Uh, I was. I had an idea. I was gonna go for my hinge work voice. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, do it. Ah, the majestic peacock. It's one of my favorite animals as well. I love their color palette, their regality, and their name includes one of my favorite things to put in my mouth. I've co of course we're talking about peas. They're a delicious <laughs> and healthy snack. Don't you agree, Scully? <laughs> what? What did what did you what was going to say? <laughs> I like There's that. There's all out of your head. Uh, who's, who? Uh, Hank Lou, you got a preference on this? I'm not. <laughs> am I? I kind of want to hear him do it. Not for this character, but I want to hear the Von Karma voice again. Um, I don't know. I think it would kind of go for her, with her. Yeah, it'd fit with her. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> you like crocodiles too, Arsenal? They're my favorite animal. They're also my favorite workout regimen partner. Nothing gets me working those glutes and calves like running from a pissed off croc. Usually people tell me my obsession with crocodiles is unhealthy and somewhat deadly. But I'm glad you're here to preach to me. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to do some croc workouts together at camp. Croc workout. Damn it! I was I wanted Damien. All right, Vigil, you get, you want voice him or you want to take whoever's the uh, last one? How many one? characters are there left? Because I definitely want Calculester. Uh, but well, there's a total of six. yeah, there's there's, there's twelve six six and others, but in terms of who we're gonna see right now, there's one more after this. Oh yeah, the witch girl. Well, we don't right. know. Yeah, we don't know. It could be her or Calculester I or believe. Aravi. Since I said cat, right. probably be I'll it. take this guy and Calculester. Okay. <clears throat> One second, I need to think of a voice. <clears throat> Take your time. I love the surfer music. What whenever, I, whenever I try to voice uh, Damien, I usually go try for a Bakugo impression. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> Wait one second. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh, dang it, I'm trying to do Bane, but I can't do this... Bane. <laughs> Whoa, you like badgers, too! Just put your hand over your mouth. I thought I was the only one. Fuck it, German. Boy, you like badges too? I thought yeah. I was the only one who appreciated the no fucks giving attitude. I love it. 
eats a pretty well-known meme at this point, but you and I just know the honey badger, Diana. Yeah, I'm just going to switch accents as I roll through. <laughs> just travel through we all of your... the honey badger. Congratulations, you and I are tight as a fuck now. Badgers forever. <laughs> okay, last one was Joy. And it's Joy. Okay. Hmm. Ah, you you like cats, Felicia. Oh, that's good to hear. Faith is a huge cat fan. You know Faith, right? She's one of my best friends. I'm really gonna miss her while I'm at camp. But hey, if you like cats too, maybe you and Faith have more in common. Maybe we could even be friends. I guess we'll see what blossoms between us while we're at camp. I'm gonna go for Damien because I'm. We only had. Ah, we only have three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. As I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Loading. 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 Free as the wind. Loading. That seemed to take quite a while. Feet don't fail me now. All right. Uh, I am going to. Load. What would, what would my Milo like? Five, four, six, five, four. I'm pretty good overall. I am gonna. Was I'm going to the battle dome. That's cool. That day at the camp dome, you do all you all do thumb wars. That means the campers are waging war against the thumb warriors, the supernaturally buff thumb monsters from Camp Thumb. It's surprisingly terrifying. You are all sure to lose, but thanks to your quick thinking. You hatch a plan to fight the Thumb Warriors with their greatest weakness. Predators without opposable thumbs. Why? Why? Because they can't fight in Thumb Wars. Oh. Some may say that your team sicking a pack of rabid mountain lions on the competitors is cheating. But you prefer the term strategic. You gain yeah. two charm. I, I apologize. Can you guys hold on one second? I heard a crash in my house. One second. Oh, no. Uh, fine. And he was never heard from again. <laughs> Last online seven years ago. What? Do you mean? Are you are you suggesting some sort of time loop? Or... No, like you know, you the, you never seen those like me those jokes where it's like you know, oh don't, bro, I just got to check on something, and it's like years later if they've never signed back on again. You're like looking at the chat log. I see. Yeah, well, if he never comes back, Eclipsis has a spot now. I need to have to play twice today. You're the only R funny, though. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm back. Uh, painting fell off the wall. Oh. Weird. That broke that, that's I evidence of I'll take haunted. care of that later. That's Wait, happened to evidence? me a few what? times. You're being haunted. Uh oh. Well, that's cool. I've always wanted a roommate. Hmm. Well, there's calculus. Yeah. All right. Yep, yeah, this is the C outfit. Some of the new stuff. With the help of Milo and Calculester, you managed to find the least violent dome game that Dahlia will still enjoy. An Iron Chef competition. Milo delights in concocting ep Epicurean delicacies. Calculester is fascinated by the concept of food. And Dahlia loves doing battle against the Iron Chef's thousand knife-wielding arms. Is this what people call camping? One second. Vigil. <laughs> what a delight. I have never had so much fun in my short artificial life. Damn. Kids. I'll, I'll take the goblin. What? Having fun? Stop that! Put it back! 
Did you pay for that fun? Don't He's immediately my favorite scroll. character. Pay for, pay for it? But it's free, just like love and literally anything else as long as I agree to demo on my Instagram. Free? Free? I didn't know this was a summer camp for communists! Capitalism always... Nothing's free, you fucking millennials. This dome is an untapped gold mine, and I'm here to tap it. That's why I purchased a controlling interest in the camp dome. So I could monetize this pile of sharp objects. <laughs> Maybe I'll tattoo advertisements on the inside of everyone's eyelids. Oh. Or require everyone who participates in dome games to purchase life insurance. <laughs> and to a prevent insurance fraud, all claims will have to be filed by the deceased. In person. <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh dear. I fear that these predatory money-making schemes will somehow make the dome even less safe than it is already. You can't monetize the dome. Commerce is only valid when it's coated in a thin veneer of spirituality and lifestyle porn. This is war! Lifestyle porn. I yeah, can't participate in this now. discussion because I'm still fighting this knife robot, but I'm mad too! Well, unless you kids can come up with some non-predatory way of monetizing this dome. <laughs> it's life insurance and eyeball tattoos for everyone. Why is Dahlia even in this <laughs> Oh no, that sounds painful and boring. Your least favorite combination of things. But how to monetize in a non-shitty way. Well, you could always get a local sponsorship. Local sponsorships are the free-range cattle of capitalism. That's just crazy enough to work. Or not, based on your stats. But what's the perfect business partnership to propose? Hmm. I mean, organ trafficking sounds interesting. But we all know fancy hats get it. Huh. You're not fun. You're not fun enough for this. I thought that would have been charming. Ha! Good luck getting a fancy hat shop to fund this dome. What do fancy hats have to do with sports murder? Don't be so toxic. Oh, you think it's just because someone's doing a sports murder they don't want to look fabulous? Okay, Boomer. No, 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 wait. I'm cool. I'm hip. Let's go talk to Buckwad and Bean Dip. My dudes, I'm down. Whatever, Boomer. You head into town to locate everyone's favorite local hat distillery. Beanie and Bucket are delighted to see you. Welcome to Beanie and Bucket's motherfucking fancy hat emporium, screams Beanie. You can tell he's Beanie, because he's wearing a beanie with the word beanie on it. Shut the fuck up, Beanie! You know we changed our name to Beanie and Bucket's fancy hat extravaganza, shouts Bucket. He's wearing a bucket on his head, and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, whatever, yells Beanie. What's it gonna take to get your kids in a fancy new hat today? Mm -hmm. Well, not to be rude, but it seems that your entire selection consists solely of beanies and buckets. Hell yeah, it does, says Bucket. That's our whole thing. That's why we legally changed your names to Beanie and Bucket. How tasteless. It's just that... Beanies and buckets aren't exactly fancy, ha fancy hats, now are they? A chill falls over the store, as if all the air has been sucked out of the room. Beanie and Bucket sigh in unison. Oh, hello. You see, Bucket, says Beanie, this is what's wrong with our country today. People don't appreciate true class. I know what you mean, Beanie, says Bucket. How many funerals am I going to have to wear my bucket to before it's accepted as appropriate formal wear? Pardon me, friends, but according to my research, beanies and buckets have never been considered fancy hats. Examples of fancy hats include top hats, fascinators, monocle hats, a bald eagle. <laughs> oh, a shrimp cocktail! Nothing's fancier than shrimp cocktail! I'm not paying attention to this conversation at all! <laughs> 
And what do you put in that, that shrimp cocktail in? Cries Bucket, absolutely enraged. A piddling martini glass? Cretans. Everyone knows you can fit a much fancier amount of shrimp and cocktail sauce in a bucket. <laughs> there, there, says Beanie, comforting his enraged comrade. These fools clearly have no taste. Come on, we're late for the Queen's coronation. As Beanie and Bucket stamp out of the room, you begin to doubt yourself. Maybe shitty headwear truly is the height of fashion. You try wearing a bucket as an experiment, and you are wrong. You look dumb, and everyone hates you. The CEO bottles and sells your embarrassment as an insect repellent. Looks like you managed to monetize the dome after all, at the cost of your two charm and one creativity. Let's conquer Whoa. the day. Arson, oh no. Uh, I'll go to the manor. Manor it what is. What manor of place be this? That day, you explore the haunted manor's basement, only to find out it has a sub basement. The sub-basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase to a sub-sub-basement. The sub-sub-basement is a haunted wine cellar. And it has cell. I was about to make that joke. The sub-sub-sub-basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits! Ha! <laughs> the sub-basement to the 10th power is a subway. You eat a foot-long Reuben and continue your travels. You eventually check a walkthrough and find out that the haunted manor can spawn an infinite amount of sub-basements. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a Dom Sub Leather Room. You gain two boldness from the horrors you witness there. None of that gets you any closer to banging your camp campmates, though, which is why you're so relieved to find Dahlia shortly after. She appears to be thinking. I think very loudly. <laughs> Harpoon gun, baby powder, tank of compressed helium. What am I missing? Hey. Oh, hey, Arsenal! Behold, my latest gambit, my all-out campaign to have the best summer ever! You see, one key component of an optimal summer is an amazing tent! And an amazing tent needs amazing tent supplies! That's why I have helium, I guess! <laughs> I've already packed all the essentials! A grill for cooking my tent steaks! Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A snuggly teddy bear so I can keep my biceps toned by squeezing it tight. And of course, a bag of lives. Fail. I'm sure I don't even need to explain that one. Not at all. But I just can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something. And I'm missing. S and if I'm missing something, there's a chance that my tent will be. So Suboptimal! I can't allow that to happen. Yeah. Excuse, Excuse you. Excuse me. But what could it be? I'm already. I've already got a fuller, a, a cooler full of spare organs and a spiked dog collar in case I find a dog. <sighs> Maybe I need a hand mirror for us for starting campfires and shaking, checking out my look. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> No, that would interfere with the pen laser grid. What the fuck? I am really stumped. But you look like a monster with a lot of camping savvy. Maybe you can help. If Dally is gullible enough to believe you have camping savvy, she's probably got bigger problems. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. Aw, oh, these are both sweet. Your tent needs a tent tent. Tent tent. You don't deserve a badge for that. Uh, that's fun, apparently. Okay. Of course. I've been so self-centered, I never consider how the tent might feel. Aww. I mean, what if my poor tent were to freeze to death and die? I don't want to sleep in a rotting tent corpse. I'll add a tent tent to my tent right away! Uh... Wait! What if my tent tent gets cold? I'll need a tent tent tent! <laughs> yes! Excellent! With a tent for my tent tent, every tent in my arsenal will be protected from the- Oh no! Your thirsty ass aids Dahlia as she follows this recursive tent problem to its natural conclusion. You set up a tent for her tent's tent's tent, 
and so on and so on until. My is so massive it blocked out the sun. Hey, says the Lazarabeth, the solar angel who loves to tan. Stop blocking out the sun with your tent to the tenth power. This power. Is <laughs> you dare to challenge the lady of the thousand nested tents? <laughs> I shall rule this camp with a nylon fist. All of this is canon to Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of this is canon to what? Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Jeez, says Elizabeth. Chill out. It's cool. I'll go tan somewhere else, like the actual sun. Let's seize the summer! Yes, my power cannot be denied. Come, Arsenal, let us tend to tell all camps the new lives in our shade. You I mean, it certainly fits Francis's personality. <laughs> it must bigger. be perfect. It cannot be suboptimal. You really want to smooch, Dahlia. So you roll with this bonkers plan until it's nighttime, and you're both totally exhausted. You slump to the ground. Impressive. Thank you for your help pitching all these tents. There's a joke to be made there. You truly are a powerful ally. I'm guessing you're too tired to return to your own tent. Would you like to share mine? Hell yeah, you would. You follow Dahlia into her mega tent tower. Only to run out of steam and pass out 54 layers deep. You don't get to snuggle with Dahlia, but you almost did. And that's worth at least two fun and one charm. All right, Shima. All right, Charm is the Battle Dome, right? Yes. Okay, Not... that was the one I was needing. I will do the... Let's go to the lake. That day you decide to take a swimming class in the lake. You learn all sorts of cool swimming techniques. The backstroke, the side stroke, the Macarena stroke, the mime having a stroke. Hey, oh. That's the second Cards Against Humanity reference already. What was the first one? Um, damn it, I can't remember now. Oh. All those strokes sure are fun, though perhaps a bit medically concerning. You gain two fun. Afterwards, you manage to convince Damien that back massages keep away mosquitoes, and you're really getting after it when... Hmm. The coolest fucking Damien costume. It's the <clears throat> anime pack. Hey there! Has that the weird chuckling lamp always been over there? What weird but Oh. I got this. Wow. Okay. <sighs> There's a something weird about this lamp. I just can't put my finger on what? <laughs> well, in the words of the great Mahatma Gandhi, when in doubt, set it on fire. You're pretty sure that's not what Gandhi said. And you tell Damien so. Really? Huh. I tried to read a biography of Gandhi once, but I couldn't understand it. So I set it on fire. I thought that was the lesson the book was trying to teach me. That's <laughs> interesting. That was about five minutes ago. <laughs> the book is still on fire, actually. In fact, it's what I was planning and using to burn this lamp. Watch. No need, Damien. The only person who's been burned here is you by my impeccable disguise. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, Counselor Florgid, you were the lamp the whole time. Cameron Orenthal Fly. Pretty cool, huh? I like his voice. Only if you think a lying is cool, which you do, but only when I do it, not when people do it, it's ruin you me. I wasn't trying to lie to you, Damien. I was trying to teach you a lesson about the wonders of camouflage. Get the real. Camouflage is for stupid ladies who are too slain to solve their problems with the violence. Sneak level 100. Oh, so it's violence you're interested in, eh? I'll have you know that in the, uh, in 
in the heady day of the, in the heady days of my youth, I once disguised myself as a baguette in order to stab the fresh the French prime minister. Mm-hmm. The French, the French, 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 French prime minister of Bel Air. But France doesn't have a prime minister. They have a president. <laughs> Stabbed the prime minister, and they never replaced work. I didn't know camouflage could be used for stabbing. This changes everything. But I still don't think it's for me. It's pretty hard to blend in when you have such a blemish list of crimson red skin. Is it like monster France or just human France? Yeah, it's just France, France. Yeah, France is already filled with monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that, son. I can change my skin to any color I want. I'm a master of disguise. So clearly, skin color doesn't matter here. All we need to do is find the perfect way for you to blend into your surroundings. Oh, oh, you got an idea. Suck a dick high-powered job in the fashion industry and make red the in color for this season and next season and every other season forever. Hi, Damien, and a... Mm. I one Hi, time one. Hi, Damien, in a giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch! Punch it in. Oh, yeah! God, I want some Hawaiian punch. <gasps> mm, so everything is fun, this game. You can, you can, you can do that. Now you see me. Now you don't. You can do anything but camouflage, son. Not to brag, but I once snuck into the G8 summit disguise of a guy who was running naked through, <laughs> through the G8 summit. Anything is possible. The it's wonders of reading, reading as you're reading. <laughs> I lose this my is the place best idea point. I've ever heard since I suggested we set that weird lamp on fire earlier. <laughs> And it's given me some great crime ideas, too. <laughs> Diana, you grab some punch and feel a ball. I gotta run an air, and I'll be right back. Did he punch, like, action? <laughs> you know better than to ask questions. So you borrow a giant punch bowl from Rowdy the Punch-Loving Giant and start filling. It's just Kool-Aid. It's, it's, just a, it's just an entire canister filled with Kool-Aid. <laughs> A few moments later... <gasps> hey, I'm back! Don't ask me where I got all these free jewels or the jewel lad that this is going to go in the punch bowl. Goodbye! No sooner oh, has God. Damien disappeared into the punch bowl than two cops come running into camp, hot on his trail. Hey, you two, says one of the cops. Did you see an international jewel thief slash murderous demon run this way? He's already Sorry. international? Yeah, I'm just a lamp click. <laughs> you just shrug. Well, says the cop, looks like we hit a dead end. There's nothing here but this lamp, this innocent summer camper, and this giant bowl of red liquid. I'm stumped, says the other cop. Normally I'd be suspicious of such a large bowl of white punch, but we all know how much summer campers love sugary drinks. You're right, says the first cop. And keeping all this punch in one big bowl seems much more efficient than repeatedly filling a smaller one. Still, says the second cop, we should probably at least feel around in the bowl, just to be safe. The second cop sticks his hand in the bowl. His head, his hand comes out with a knife stuck through it. Whoa, Ted, says the other cop. Did that punch just stab you? Oh, seems like it, replies his partner. It is probably some kind of marketing stunt to see to make the punch seem more edgy. Kids these days, with their Fortnite and their violent punch. The cops leave, shaking their heads and waxing philosophical about the state of today's youth. Whoa, you're a pro! That was incredible. You're a genius, Diana. Now if you'll excuse me, I have another errand to do. It's not long before you're reading a news article about the giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch that was mysteriously delivered to the UN Security Council. Oh dear, 
You gain two boldness and one fun for your part in this. <laughs> a new day, a new adventure. All right, Hinkle. Um. Uh, fuck. Um. Well, I mean, what are my options? All uh, that's left is smarts uh, and creativity. Fuck. I guess I'll do creativity. At least I'll play with some yarn for a while. That makes sense. You spend all day trying to learn how to use the North Star to know your location and never get lost. It's a fierce challenge, and everyone gets, like, super lost. You say fuck it and try to text the North Star to ask for dire directions. Maybe no one ever asked. Of course, this achieves nothing. It's a star, and you should stop trying to resort to sheer absurdity to solve your problems. You get no badge. No one does. It was all a trick test, and it wasn't even nighttime. The coach awards you a two creativity for your lateral thinking. So they, they give out the thinking? Guess so. Later! I'm sorry, the, the point. That's what I meant. Later, you're listening to Coach's prep talk about selling Monster Scout cookies. You're paying attention because Coach is the only father figure in your life right now. Monster Scout's pride! And that's why selling Monster Scout cookies teaches both survival skills and entrepreneurship. Remember, no matter how many cookies you sell, I'll always be proud of you, kids. I'm out. Man, my dads are already super proud of me for being the most demented son of all time. I'm not selling shit. Same. I got some reading to do this afternoon. I'm halfway through A Practical Witch's Guide to Navigating Absurd Shenanigans. And who wants to be Monster Girl? I could think of a voice. Well, you'll have Monster ideas. Girl and uh, Hex. Those oh, we want to split it up. Uh... Uh, I'll be the monster girl. Someone else can be Hex. Okay. I'll be Hex. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather put all these cookies in my inventory and save them for my next mini boss fight. These things are shockingly nutritious, and they give a defense. Bo Ugh. One second, I need to think of a voice. I like her pirate outfit. Well, I was uh, thinking about doing like uh, the clown voice for Hex. Right, whichever you guys feel like doing. I, I want to do it, but give me a second. I'm trying to think of the world. Okay. Sorry, I walked away. What happened? Uh, Vigil wants, really wants to do it, but he's thinking of a voice to do. Ha! Yeah. Huh, that's weird! You guys smell the strange off-putting scent of cap- Destroying bulldozers and capitalist pollution? Oh, fuck! This can only mean- Mr. Papa's the name, building shit. Well, well, well. If it isn't a bunch of poverty stricken youths, it is I, Mr. Papas, evil CEO. <coughs> Excuse me. I just stopped by to crush your spirit with my capitalist machinations. Oh, uh, what the fuck are you talking about, you kind of a barren dweeb? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Look here, youths. In my fist, I have the deed to this very campground you're standing on. I'm going to turn this shithole into a shopping mall. And the best part is, there's no way for you to stop me. <coughs> Why, you have to sell a thousand boxes of your pathetic cookies to have enough money to buy the campground yourself. Actually, I'm going to change my voice. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try an impression of your Maya. Uh, dude, why the fuck are you telling us any of this? I, uh, am I high, or did he just tell us exactly how to foil his evil scheme? Damn kids! Uh, it's okay. You uh, fools! I'm telling you because it's impossible! You'll never sell a thousand boxes of cookies in time! I'm bulldozing this whole place at midnight tonight! Ha! <laughs> I love to stay and brag more, but I have an appointment with my therapist. And by therapist, I mean a whale that I'm going to drown in crude oils for fun. Toodles. That's not therapy at all. Okay, this just got real. 
We are selling those cookies no matter what. I'm not going to let that piece of shit capitalist destroy our beloved camp. The trees need us, you guys. What a noob. Yeah, that the money grabbing noob insulted us. He thinks we can't sell a thousand boxes of cookies. That's a bushy. How dare he challenge our skills? Game on, motherfucker. And yeah, I guess we should like defend the trees or whatever. Hecate, help me. The point is, we're all in. We've just got to figure out how to sell a thousand cookies by midnight. Any ideas? Faith usually comes up with the master plans. Uh. <laughs> okay, how about these? We find a random guy and just beat the shit out of him until he box buys a box of cookies. And then we do that a thousand times. Uh, snacks though? What? What, what if we, we ate? Oh. That's me. Hey, what if we just ate all the cookies and said we sold them? My personal speed rate record is 284 cookies per hour! This is going nowhere. But luckily, you know the perfect way to sell a thousand boxes of Monster Scout cookies before midnight. Your whole life has been building to this moment. Hmm. That's actually an amazing idea in the first one. Uh, <laughs> this everyone that only a couple of people. Uh, let's. Well, um. This, the first one is either creativity or charm. The second one is probably fun or. I feel the second one could also be charm. But then again, I was wrong on my round. In which case, it barely matters. Claim the 1,000 box of cookies are a valuable piece of art. Hurry, stream relaxation! That's perfect! Was, I guess it's it's the other one with charm. Plus, I picked up this flame that says there's a secret million interaction of eccentric artwork tonight. For once, Hex isn't lying. <laughs> you concoct a master plan, taking advantage of everyone's special skills. You all sneak into the auction right before it starts. All right, Aravi. The auctioneer is right around this corner. Take him out quietly, and we'll be running the show in no time. Stealth mode. Stealth mission. Ha! I'm on it. This motherfucker is going down without a peep. <gasps> Wait. Don't kill him, okay? I have a very strict rule. No human casualties, even during acts of heroism. <laughs> Ishtar, I'm totally not gonna kill him. Aravi stabs the auctioneer right in the heart, immediately killing him. You go all get into <laughs> position for your master plan, this and the auction begins. The this is just what? The case. <laughs> I just stabbed him in the heart. That doesn't kill people. Oh, yeah, that kills people. What? No, I just stabbed him in the chest 37 times. <laughs> Welcome to the Rich People Art Auction. I am your auctioneer for the evening. We have such fine goods for you to bid on, such as these bullets made out of human bone. Power up! And a rare sculpture entitled 1,000 Box of Monster Scout Cookies! This sculpture is a priceless work of art by the legendary contemporary artist Oye. Actually, wait a fucking second. She's even dressed kind of like Von Karma. Oh, fuck, she is. <laughs> Those cookies are definitely art. As the millionaire bad boy prints a hell, I demand you bid for the cookies. Wait, Aravi, did you say bullets made from human bone? Fucking metal. It's the most metal thing I ever heard. Fuck the cookies, I bid 50 grand on the fucking bone bullets. If the prince deserves the bone bullets, then so do I, says one of the random rich people. Me too, says another guy who's carrying a cane made of blood diamonds. Seriously? Blood diamonds? With those, I could conquer the moon. Ah, uh, ahem. Open the gates of Zarash. Prince of Hell, don't you want to bid for the cookies instead? Remember the cookies? The reason why we're doing this? That cookie sculpture isn't art, a rich guy shouts. It lacks the raw primal artistry of bone bullets. I bid a hundred thousand dollars for them. Fight me, dude! Hey, those bullets are mine. You can't have them, slip the bag. 
I'll be the one million dollars. Damien goes back and forth in a bidding war for like an hour. He eventually wins the bullets, but the rich people completely forget about the cookies. Ugh, I wish there was friendly fire. Well, it was a completely stupid idea. Thanks a lot, Felicia. And now I killed that guard for nothing. His blood is on your hands, you know. You're the one who has to go to his family and tell him what you did. Yeah, you're a bad friend. You totally let me overpay for these bullets. Why didn't you warn me that printerial objects only bring temporary happiness? <laughs> Fucking Warren. I should have known you'd fuck this up. I'm not disappointed in you, Felicia. I'm disappointed in myself. I should have known that your ideas are doomed to failure. Yikes. Looks like you really fucked the goose this time. The CEO doesn't turn Camp Spooky into a shopping mall at midnight. But that's only because, in, in his words, edging. Just thinking about that makes you lose two fun and one boldness. <laughs> Trade places! No. Everyone choose a celebrity! Uh, Nicholas Cage. Brendan Fraser. Taylor Swift. Elon Musk. Player or is decided based on which celebrity is most likely to be a secretly a pro rock, paper, scissors player. Uh, I feel Musk. like Elon Musk is a strong contender. I, I, could, yeah. I could really see that for Elon, too. Alright, let's put Elon Musk number one. Okay. Um, Who's the other one besides Brendan and Nicholas? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah, I'd say it's either going to be Brendan or Nicholas. Probably Brendan. For I, I think Taylor Swift is exactly the kind of person to take a lot of time on something. That's really okay, cool. well, I know nothing about Taylor Swift. I so would I say my vote would go towards Nicholas Kay. Uh, uh, remind me, who's Brendan Fraser? Who's the, the guy, guy from the, the mummy. mummy? The guy from the mummy. Duh, duh, duh. What the fuck is Nicholas Cage? Why? He's, he's got better things to do than fucking. Does he, he though? He has to go find for a yeah, Wait, don't, you, don't you know that rock, paper, scissors is secretly part of the clue to steal the na the Declaration of Independence or something? It's like you turn over the back of the Constitution and it's just that Rochambeau with like 36 symbols. <laughs> uh, look, I think my vote would still be towards Nicholas Cage. I'm, yeah, fine, my, so. my vote is anti Nicholas Cage. I think anything other than Nicholas Cage. Uh, okay, Brendan Fraser. If I said Brendan Fraser, would you agree with that? I mean, more than Nicholas Cage. And I'll, I will say Brendan Fraser for number two. I'll give it to Brendan hey. Fraser for two. But Nicholas Cage and, is definitely over Taylor Swift. Okay, I completely disagree with this. What, what does Taylor Swift do aside from write songs? Exactly. She's she's got nothing going on, <laughs> other, unlike <laughs> unlike <laughs> Nicholas Cage, who has a life. Okay, I'm gonna give it to that simply because the argument of she's such a tool, she has to be secretly something. Appears yeah, to she has. Like, was, or pardon, what's her face? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Whoever. All right. All right. Taylor All right. Swift. Then. I'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> Just because that was a compelling argument. Take that, Taylor Swift. <laughs> on the off chance you're watching this. Are we, are we streaming? Yes. We are. Yeah, all the Taylor Swift fans in the comments. What? Wait. Oh. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, go for any charm, so take me to the Battle Dome. That day you're playing the most dangerous Camp Dome game of all, Charm Wars. The rules are simple. You must gain charm by the end of the round, or you will die instantly. Deanna, you better earn some charm quick. Like, in the next 10 seconds, or you're gonna fucking die. Holy shit, earn some charm already. Ah, oh, okay, thank God. You just earned two charm. Whew, that was way too close. You and Damien are enjoying that, engaging in that classic, classic camp prank of taking a bunch of other campers' sheets and tying them together to create a complicated net involved in a Rube Goldberg-esque deadfall trap. Oh, you're okay. a pro! What the hell is this outfit? Oh, it's, it's pirate it, pack. Yeah, it's part of the sea pack. Haha, -ha, nice word, Diane. Our friends will never know it eat them. Especially if it kills them. <sighs> Hand me my big weed, yeah. I need to find the hilarious metal spikes for the bottom of the pit. 
It's so hard to find anything in this bag. But then the pack is so full, it used the shit like a water purifier, a non perishable food, and a pillow. Why? I'm perfectly capable of smothering people from the bare hands. <laughs> I didn't notice this before. Damien holds aloft a bottle, inside of which swirls a dark black and gold. liquid? Mist? It's hard to say exactly. Also, the bottle is screaming death to the to the Levays at the top of its metaphorical lungs. Your time will come! Your reign will end! Bad stuff is, is gonna happen! Hmm? Bottle is weird as shit, but then it's picked all kinds of useless pump and supplies in here. A vent, a big pick, a halberd, but this is the most confusion of all. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is it? What do I do with it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle seems to be causing Damien a great deal of distress. You better come up with a reasonable explanation so the two of you can move the fuck on with your day. <laughs> Novelty alarm clock since people already hate their alarms. Why not have an alarm that hates you back? It's a hunting accessory to lure ducks by mimicking their voices. Man, duck shark. <laughs> <laughs> Quack! It's a hunting uh, accessory. It's a hunting accessory to lure ducks by mimicking their voices. Man, ducks sure are getting weird these days. That's crazy that enough to work. Place, <laughs> All right, a new hunting threats to my life and family sounded familiar, and now I know exactly why. That's the sound of ducks make <laughs> to the lake. Sounds like something more a goose would say. I can't <laughs> wait for all the ducks to be making death of a vase now. Here's the plan. Uh, Grab some sticks. <laughs> have the bottle make duck noises. Wait for ducks to come. Chase them with sticks. <laughs> <laughs> just the just, just simple, just chase these ducks with sticks. Damien sets the bottle down and begins to shriek. The eighth circle will fall. Down with the levees. Down with the usurper kings. <laughs> to your utter shock, ducks oh do, God. in fact, come waddling over. But these are no average ducks. Oh no. These are super jack ducks with spiky hair and spiky teeth and spiky tattoos. These are buff ducks. Mighty oh, ducks! Mighty ducks! Yeah! yeah. I, I, I love the quack tattoo. Duck tails. Mm -hmm. Someone talking shit about the kings of hell? A duck with an eye patch says. Cause that's our jam. Start fights with demons is what we do. Huh? Fucking ducks. <laughs> Get rocked, duckies. <laughs> Damien immediately sets to chasing the ducks around with his stick. What? Oh god, no! Not a stick! I won weakness! Years of training and careful planning for nothing! The sound of Boo Paul's lip sync for your death fills the air. It's Damien's ringtone, and since he has his hands full with the stick, you answer on speaker for him. Hello, our sweet little prince of hell, says Stan, the king of hell. We wanted to see how you were doing at camp. Fucking metal. I'm fucking losing. Thanks for the sick duck lure, Dej. Duck lure? Asks Lucian, the other king of hell. I don't remember packing you a duck lore, but I was very busy swapping people's eyeballs with a scoop of anthill that day. <laughs> yeah, you gave me a bottle full of Blake and Gulda smoke that screams endlessly about how much hate this and once is dead. You know, a duck lure. <laughs> oh, Lucian, you silly billy willy warlord. I told you to pay more attention when packing Damien's bag. Damien, that's not a lure. That's a lure. The fuck? <laughs> Allure Vezrax, commander of the rebel armies of the Forbidden Black Flame. When he lost the war, he put his soul into a bottle. I meant to pack a thermos, but I must have packed that instead. Those ducks are for real. Hmm, weird. Cause it totally brought ducks to us. Handsome booth ducks. Oh, says Stan. 
Those must be the Dark Wing Ducks, a group of mercenaries who are sworn enemies of the Leves, but who have been in an unknown location for the last 10 years. And you use the soul to discover the location to defeat them! Good for you, son. <laughs> I just wanted to cheat some dukes around the ski. <laughs> That's our boy, says Stan and Lucian in unison. You and Damien spend the rest of the afternoon happily chasing duckies with sticks. You lose two karma for harassing wildlife, but you do get two fun in one smarts. Let's the I just love the image of just chasing ducks around. Just and that's an achievement. Ducks, like, they're just fucking superhero ducks, and it's like, oh shit, a stick! All right, like... <laughs> Lake? Like... You decide oh, to break. Oh look, and they, these are normal ducks. You decide to bring a metal detector to the lake that day. You scour the beach for buried treasure. You find a keychain, a tin box of stale cookies, which you eat anyway, a glowing chalice that the Knights Templar come to confiscate for some reason, and best of all, you manage to find some genuine silver-plated fun. Score. Afterwards, you're chilling in the lake enjoying a rare moment of peace and quiet, which is quickly ruined by a freak rainstorm. No, wait, not a storm. You just realize, you realize you were just splashed by Dahlia, who appears to be flailing like crazy and fighting something in the other end of the lake. You head over there to see what's up, but before you say anything, she accidentally slams into you. Dahlia Aquino. Yeah, wait, Arsenal? You're lucky I realized it was you before I unleashed my aquatic Aquino range upon you. What are you doing here anyway? That's the question you came here to ask. Best summer ever. Yeah, yes. I'm on my mission to have the best summer ever. It's like normal summer, but better and more. Welcome to my lake. So today I'm here because everybody knows that laking is like one of the most quintessentially summery things in the world. <laughs> All I need to do is have the best water technique, and then I'll be queen of laking. Uh. Hmm. You're looking at me very confusedly. I'm not sure why I lost you. Hey, or where. Or why, really. <laughs> no, I don't have time to teach you how to have the best summer ever. I've got some water to punch. She indeed does just that. Dahlia's logic may be a bit... Mm, insane. But it is kind of adorable watching her fling her arms around and make silly noises in the water. Maybe if you could help her improve her master water technique, she'll be impressed with you and ask you for the advice of the whole summer fling thing. Be water, my friend. Be water? Be water. Impressive. I mean, using the Wonder Twins magic rings? Uh. No, not at all. You were just offering some shallow feel good advice. You have them. You have the rings. <gasps> well, actually, yes, you do. You and your friends got them from a fantastic, unforgettable adventure. The adventure of eating cereal and finding rings in the box. This wow, this really is Phoenix first, right? This is not the first time in in this game where you've used the Wonder Twin ring. <laughs> now you use their nearly unlimited powers to solve the dumb, absurd situations you get yourselves in, you get yourselves into in order to get laid, just like the Wonder Twins probably intended. Hopefully, not with each other. Wow, best day of my life! Come on, Arsenal, let's do this. Twin powers activate! Wonder Twin powers activate! Ink of water! What a good movie! Form of... Uh, uh, a, a very sexy stingray? From a bucket of water! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look yes. like that hot sauce from Spongebob! <laughs> Holy crap! By the, I, by the powers of naughtiness, I declare this to be really, really hot. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm a bucket of water. This is awesome. So, has this solved the situation? Is the lake de defeated? 
I guess. <laughs> the what? Who cares? I'm a bucket of water. <laughs> oh, you don't look half bad yourself, Arsenal. Those weird stingray flaps really compliment your figure somehow. You should throw that into x -Wide at some point. No. <laughs> Which part? Arsenal yeah. becoming a stingray. Oh. She turned herself into a bucket of water. Funny as shit at that 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 Z. <laughs> Which? What? Which? <laughs> Which? <laughs> Which broke his magic brain. would you need to turn yourself into a bucket of water? Uh, life four and matter four. Hmm. Where did go? Man, I can't even remember what we were supposed to be doing. This is just too cool. Best summer. Oh, I have an idea. Arson. Spill me in the lake and then, uh, I don't know. I guess you can swim in me. Actually, it's hot. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. what if you, you spilled me in the lake and swam in me? Wouldn't that be funny? Haha. -huh. Just kidding, unless. Okay, you are not saying no to that. You spend the rest of the day being a very sexy stingray while swimming through Dahlia. Which is not much different than just swimming, but it sounds very hot anyway. You gain two fun and one charm. A new day, a new adventure. Am I running into her by chance, or is it like you get pigeonholed? It's you're, 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 yeah, you're like on a track. You'll be able to change tracks potentially at the campsite. From, from what I've what heard field. in 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 the in their Discord when people questioned it, if you talk to some, but basically all your events will be for if you pick at the start. But if you visit a person in both camp events, you will have enough hearts to win them over if your stats are also good. Well, uh, what I'm asking is, is everything I do going to be involving this character now? For the most part. That sucks. Cause I uh, no, sucks. not really. You just talk to someone else at the campfire. Yeah, that's how it works. Is if you wanted it. You're like on a Dahlia track right now, but if you wanted to change tracks, you can do that at the campfire. Okay, continue. I'm going to try and win Damien over still. And to that end, I'm going to gain Goldner. You go into the haunted manor with the group, only to immediately split up once you get inside, as is customary. You quickly get lost and have no cell signal, but in a stroke of genius, you follow the signs to the haunted manor's lost and found to wait for your friends to pick you up. Is that a fucking Rasengan? Either that or it? some sort of spirit light. You find all sorts of cool <laughs> lost knickknacks while you wait. Some bloody gloves, a haunted iPod, it only plays Thriller by Michael Jackson. A totally normal Furby that still manages to be the creepiest thing in there. At the bottom of the box, you even find two boldness. Yoink! Who in the right mind would throw that away? All praise to the old gods. Afterwards, Joy enlists you to help her chase down a magical grimoire who, which has escaped from her collection. The consequences of failure could be dire, but Pretty mostly long. you just horny. Yeah. You finally corner the book in the haunted rumpus room, and Joy manages to tackle it to the ground. Suddenly, the armoire bursts open and... <laughs> I'm a ghost, boo! Okay. Who... It's best girl! Who's what you Bill. <laughs> and oh. boy! Who's... Can I, uh, can I, uh, sorry, can I be Scott? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Come on. I once had to strangle my elementary school principal with my bare hands because he was possessed by a math spirit. You think bed sheets are gonna scare me? Hey, bro. It's okay, okay Joy. Don't be scared. I'm not. I just said I'm not. Hmm. Calm down, Joy. Everything is fine. It's just us. No scary ghosts at all. Ugh. Polly, you are actually a ghost. Prank masters, strike again. Uh, that's the prank. <laughs> Woo, great prank. Okay, Felicia, do you have that book tied up? Let's go. Whoa. Uh, magic prank book. Can we stay? Uh... No. Do you two remember the last time you got your hands on a prank book? Nope. I remember. Nope, and I don't even think that ending was technically canon. Oh, right. That's because it was in another reality. The reality... The universes don't count. 
a reality you destroyed by summoning Zagord, an ancient deity of despair. And then, and then we she became a cutie. With her. Everyone died, and I would have died too if it wasn't for Liam. It was agonizing, yet he helped me find an arcane artifact with the power of traveling through timelines and alternate realities. In that last unexpected alliance, we found love again, mending the wounds of our broken relationship. Endgame suck. <laughs> back on, girl. Always the same. I didn't say thanks. Anyway, I traveled to an alternate reality to prevent you from summoning Zagord. But you did it anyway. I had to go back 37 times. I visited so many realities. Had to see my friends dying and again and again. Oh hey, she's Hamura. <laughs> for goodness, for <laughs> goddess, for goddess's sake, I had to watch Liam find love with so many of his potential ships. Like, I'm over it, okay? But still, I don't didn't need a ticket to that particular love show. I tried everything, and yet you two always ended up getting your chaotic hands on the Forbidden Tome of Zagord and using it as your personal prank book. Enough of this. It took 37 tries, 37 times witnessing reality end, friends die, and Liam finding love somewhere else. <laughs> it's just going through the entire credit sequence from that run. <laughs> The only way I was finally able to patch up reality and undo what you all did was by binding Zagor to a totem, which I gave to Valerie. She promised me to hide it well, which she didn't, of course. To no one's surprise, she sold it for a couple extra bucks. That's true. And somehow that kicked off a wacky chain of events, which ended with Zagor transitioning into our classmate Zoe, who preferred to attend prom rather than destroying reality. Thus, finally saving reality. Try not to get killed soon. Wow, that was a big lore drop. So I am never, ever, under any circumstances, letting you two get a hold of a magical book again. Understood. Pranked. Love that. We were too many pranking Felicia, so we could steal this magical prank book. <laughs> Whoa, cool! Hey, Polly, let's cast this spell. Dickery, dickery, ding dong, dammery. <sighs> Use this spell to erase Joy's memories. Awesome! Did it work, Joy? <laughs> Who's Joy? What, what? Oh boy. Looks like the prank masters, with a Z, have done it again. You better find a way to restore Joy's lost memories, or all the romantic groundwork you've laid will be useless. Gotcha. I really want to do the first one. Hold on. What was that? Hold on. Uh, Alright, so neither of these sound fun. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking fail again. Ah! Retrieving Joy's diary and doctoring it sounds like smart. And what else would it be? Boldness, Creativity? Again? No, that's not creative. Or boldness because you're like rewriting her life to be more important about you. The pocket thing could be fun, I guess. I'm okay. I'm doing the pocket thing because it's funny. Okay. Yeah, I can see you're using some logic. Okay, I may have lost all my memories, but I'm still smart enough to know you can't fit a lifetime's worth of memories in your pockets, especially women's pants pockets. Also, I'm not even wearing pants. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's see. Oh, there's a flash drive in here. Let's plug it in and see what's on it. Like that, bitch. Keeping it. <laughs> Yay! Treasure hunt! Treasure hunt! On the computer. You get the flash drive plugged into your laptop and open the one file it contains. It's a video of Joy addressing the camera. Hey, you. Hey, Joy. It's me. You. 
I'm making this video in case Polly and Scott get their hands on the Libram of Forgetfulness and use it to erase our memories later today. Hmm. I consulted my tarot cards this morning and got a very specific result. Joy Johnson, Jojima. Anyway, let's get you up to speed on who you are. Your name is Joy Johnson Jojima, you're 23 years old, and your main trait is being right about everything all the time. Uh. Don't let the other campers convince you that things they say and do are normal. They are not normal. You are the only normal one, and they are all walking crime machines. Except for Milo, who is inscrutable, and Calculester, who is just a regular machine. Booty calls. Oh, and if you run into a guy named Dimitri, you're going to feel weird sexual energy, but it's better to just ignore it until it boils over and you are overcome by raw animal lust. Or whatever. I'm needed somewhere else. Anyway, I upload a complete scan of our diary to www.whenwillscottandpollystopbeingterrible.com to pursue at your leisure. <laughs> Enjoy. Wonder if that's a real website. Well, that was illuminating. Oh. Polly, am I really a walking crime machine? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, <laughs> four. What comes after four? I think Some it's more. just four. Right, four, 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 four. It's not a real one. Oh, it's not a real one. Stop lying to us. It's probably the thing that's like safe browsing. Somebody know. just went on the internet and told a lie. Quick, you can buy do the domain. That? Quick, buy the domain and sit on it until the devs want to buy it from us for a thousand dollars. Of course not, Scott. The machines are good at math. Hooray! <laughs> you know, Felicia, past Joy forgot to mention one thing in her recap. You would make an How cool and attractive interest. you are. You're pretty sure past Joy would never think or say those things about you, but you just smile and nod. Eventually the, spare wears off, the spell wears off, but Joy's affection for you remains. You gain two charm at one smarts. Oh, another achievement. The good timeline. Ah, oh, where do I go? And the got... game's good. Creativity and smarts. I'm gonna get creative. The game is a good movie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's your favorite idea? That day of Monster Scouts, Fine they teach you. Creative. They teach you how to use stars and trees bark to find your way when you get lost. On the but internet. The idea? As a test, coach leaves you in the middle of the internet. You easily get lost. But before you know it, you're watching the Spanish synchronized swimming team perform a routine based on Stairway to Heaven. You don't earn the orientation while in the internet badge, but you definitely gain true creativity from watching such a beautiful display of skill. Green is not a creative color. You meet up with Milo for an intense session of jazz appreciation, but your emotional moment is ruined by a big stupid jerk. Appreciating jazz, I see. Well, when I'm through with this camp, the only music you'll be appreciating is a soft rock cover of Achy Breaky Heart on endless repeat. You mean you're going to turn Camp Spooky into a dad's house? <laughs> <laughs> you wish you were that lucky, but I'm an evil CEO, after all. So I'm here to buy up Camp Spooky and turn it into shopping a shopping mall. <laughs> Really? How'd you get to be so wealthy with so little business sense? No one actually goes to shopping malls anymore. It's all on Amazon.com, didn't you know? Oh yeah, hot shot. Well, then where do teens go to hang out with their friends? The internet, obviously. Okay, okay. But where do brands hawk all their latest wares? The internet. Again, the internet. And where did you get internet? Uh, internet. <laughs> Fine, but where, I ask you, do people buy useless gadgets that they neither need nor truly want in order to stave off the boredom of their empty lives? Uh, the internet. Right, I need you to bear with me here. The Sky Mall catalog. Also the internet. Curse this internet. It's got me at every turn. 
Unless... I like the way you think. Yes, that's it. I'll buy the internet and build a shopping mall on it. Just have to make a few <laughs> calls. <laughs> the internet belongs to everyone and no one person can own it. I know. I've tried. Do you even know how the internet works? It's not an object you can buy. And is that a car phone? Attached to a sports car you don't even drive here? You're... I have some balls. Done. Turns out the Vanderbilts were looking to sell the internet after all. What? Too many too many peasants, they said. Looks like it's time to ruin it with business. How did they get the internet? <laughs> I mean, they're rich. Too late, Jeff Bezos already beat you to it. I was gonna make that. <laughs> True to his word, the CEO makes, soon makes the internet even more of a consumerist wasteland than, it's, than it was before. Also, he installs an Annie's pretzel somehow. <laughs> No! My beloved internet! How will my followers authentically connect with my brand when the internet is polluted with all these... brands? I didn't want to have to do this, but... There's a second secret internet I happen to know about. Ordinarily, only influencers are allowed, but this is an emergency! If we could just transfer everyone else to this internet, then we'd all be free of that madman's machinations. But how will we convince everyone to jump ship to Internet 2.0? Hmm. Call it Internet 2.0. Let's see. Spread a, a thing, I think. Spread a rumor that the current internet is at its expiration date and will smell bad, or make the new internet slower so people can savor it. Hmm. I feel like the second one is smart, because it's working with the internet. I'm gonna go with the rumor. Because that That's might be charm. either charm or creative. Don't be so toxic. Yes. But is that true? Lying is a bad look, you know. It's true. You assure them. Haven't they noticed the signs? Hmm. Well, when food goes rotten, it starts to smell bad, take on an unappetizing color, and make an increasing number of racist comments. Oh god, you're right! Man, I hate it when my food gets pole-pilled. The entire internet is going ripe as we speak! Not only that, you point out, you take a look at these memes from 15 years ago. <gasps> ah, they're so stale! I hope no one's contacted food poisoning from consuming this expired content. Is that cancer? Do you think all of the fake news, concern trolling, shitposting, and Twitter polls are symptoms of the spoilage too? Oh no. This started as one of your dumb lies, but could it be that the internet has been rotten for a long time now? I used to complain whenever the internet would freeze on my computer, but now I almost wish it had stayed frozen. Maybe it wouldn't be spoiled now. If only I had taken better care and read the instructions on the side. Speaking of which, how will we make sure that our new internet doesn't experience the same fate? The same way you prevent any spoilage, you tell them. Keep it cool, wash your hands before using, and, if all else fails, preserve with plenty of salt. Sorry, not sorry. Ah, salt! The spice of life! We'll have to make sure and recruit all of the League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Once you disseminate all your, your information, everyone is happy to switch over to your new internet. Especially since the old internet has start, really started to smell like old beef. Your little shenanigans has cost me Curses! Once again, a band of wily young adults have left me with nothing but a pile of spoiled garbage and the desire for revenge. This isn't- But I'll be back. You haven't heard the last of Mr. Pappas. Who was that? I feel like I've talked to him earlier, but he wasn't relevant to my brand, so I tend to forget. You did too. You're too busy enjoying the new internet. You'll miss how the dank memes used to be, but the hot takes are especially hot today. You gave two charm and one smarts. Yes, it would take some time for any of this to be as dank as it used to. Choose a celebrity! Again! Taylor Jeff Swift! No, new Jeff one. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Robin Williams. Uh, Billy Mays. Hankel, you gotta choose a new one. Why? No double dipping. Uh, that is the Taylor Swift way, I suppose. Lady Gaga. On the day the chosen celebrity knocks on your door and asks you to prepare soup for them, 
They do this every day. When asked why they do this, they just start screaming for an hour. This might sound absurd, but player orders decided based on which celebrity would be the least absurd doing it. Lady I'm Gaga. Sorry, least absurd, uh, uh, least absurd knocking on your door. Least absurd of asking you for soup every day and screaming if you ever ask them about it. Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga is pretty... I would say Lady Gaga makes the most sense. It would, it would be some way. sort of performance art thing that she's doing. I would... Uh, I think it would have to be Robin Williams. I, mean, I gotta okay, go 100%. Robin Williams is there too. I gotta go 100% Lady Gaga. Two in the top two. I'll, vote, I'll vote Lady Gaga and then Robin Williams. I, I don't really care I'm which putting one Robin first. Williams first. Uh... Oh. I'll, well, I'll I'll give it to Timber first. I'll take second. I uh, I don't agree at all that it would be. Or just go ahead and start clicking. Ooh. Yeah, uh, and I, then the, uh, the votes between, were tied either way. Uh, and then between Jeff Bezos and Billy Mays, <laughs> who would be the least absurd between uh, Billy Mays and Billy Mays could be trying I mean, to sell I you. I can too. see Billy Gays going to people's door to door and screaming. By virtue of being dead, to... Billy Names is more absurd than, uh... Okay, well, I case, think that's kind done, of... In, in that case, we should have done... Let's assume, let's assume they're alive. Uh, okay, that's a good point. All right. I would say assume they're alive for this. Hi there, Billy Mays so, here, I... and I want soup! <laughs> exactly! That's why I, I thought will... he should have been second. I, I'm I'm really with Lady Gaga be anything but... Yeah, again, Lady Gaga would she would say like she's doing it as some performance. Yeah, she, she wore a meat. Yeah, I'm does that go. shit all the time. Yeah, she wore I'm a meat dress at one point. I still think Billy Mays is definitely better than Bezos. Yeah, I'm willing to go last on. Yeah, that. Bezos, Jeff Bezos wouldn't do that. Jeff Bezos wouldn't need to go to well, your house. I mean, unless he buy your house, himself, you could just but... buy your house and sell it. For yeah, that would be the absurd part. He could just buy it instead of asking you. So give that to Vigil. All right, can't flare time. Okay, so like I said before, if you visit a person you're not on your route with in both campfires, that will give you enough hearts to date them, assuming you have the stats. Also, if you, want to if you want to generally change tracks, I think this is how you do it too. Yes, remember you would have to visit them both times to change. Damien. Now, also, since Shima, you haven't played in a while, and Vigil, you haven't played at all with the actual full game. If two players sit on the love the on the empty bench both times, you can date each other. That'd be uh, like taking your mom to prom. <laughs> all right, so yeah, with all that, date, you ask your mommy to take you. Well, no, you can date the other players. That's like dating your mom. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, Damien. you'd go with Damien. I, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it for sure. Okay. You smell something burning. And know very well that where there's smoke, there's a fire. In this case, it's a campfire, and what's burning is everything. I realize you are attempting to help. Frank Damien, I am concerned that you are engaging in destructive behavior. Nah. <laughs> I just know his calculators just got a little ducky. Damien throws a shoe into the campfire, which crackles and flares up. He makes some notes in a notebook he's carrying. What's up? Oh, Alicia, wanna get in on some sweet research? Friend Felicia, my own research has led me <clears throat> to the hypothesis that Damien is merely using science as a pretense for arson. <laughs> She's lying. What the no? This is super legitimate research. See, I'm even taking notes. Damien takes a pillow and throws it onto the fire. But friend Damien, all you're writing is shoe, it burns. Pillow, it burns. Avarabi's diary burns. <laughs> yes, what's your point? These two are definitely not going to see eye to eye on matters of fire research. Not without you chiming in, that is. Uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. 
I am unsure. After all, is arson itself not villainy? Nah, 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 nah. If it's to stop even more villain or villainy, check it out. <laughs> See, this arsenic? It could be used to poison someone into the fire it goes. Really not good. That does seem to reduce the chances of poisoning by 97.87%. Point eight percent error, at least with that particular bottle of arsenic. Knives. No hacking for the hedge. Get into the fire, mother fisher. This taser, tase this, and by this I mean I'm throwing it into the fire. Yes, I see, but many of the items are harmless. I'm a pro camper. Show us what you know. This sock could be used to gag someone. This rope, it could be used to tie someone up. So long, sock. Get raked to root. This book could be used to bludgeon someone to death. And this able airplane could give you paper cuts. Those could be fatal if you've got leprosy. This glove could be used to strangle someone if you... Really stretched out the fingers like, like a lot. Upgraded successfully. I see your point. It seems unlikely, but it is better to be safe than sorry in matters of bludgeoning, paper cuts, and strangulation. Thank you for doing this very good deed. <laughs> Leave this to the pros. See, now Felicia want to be the whole bunch of shit with me. Do I? Not the glove, though. But needed to strangle some. You and Damien have a wonderful night together filling up his notebook with much more, with more valuable insight. Teddy bear. It burns. Pagan wooden figurine. It burns. Antique leather dildo Damien found in the bunk of someone who will remain anonymous thanks to blackmail payments. It burns. Your love oh. for Damien? Oh, baby, it burns. Who would have an antique leather dildo? Uh, I guess I could relax a bit. Okay, I am gonna sit with Milo. You're intrigued by the sight of Milo forcing an unenthusiastic Joy to try on a series of costumes and wigs. Luckily, she rips them all off before you sit down, or else we'd have to actually show you art of that. You bastards! Okay, fine. I see you're not interested in shallow fashionista joy, but I have lots of other options for your brand new brand! Hashtag slay. What about hard-boiled private investigator joy, or manic pixie dream girl joy, or sassy divorcee joy? Oh, that last one just gives me the chills! Sassy divorcee! <laughs> Those are all dumb. Also, in order to be a divorcee, shouldn't I have already been married? Hmm, good point. Wait, your wedding card could be the plot of episode one! The co this Coven stuff writes itself! Enough of this. Milo, I already told you. I don't need a new brand. I don't even have a brand. The idea that my personality is merely a trademark is dehumanizing and reductive. Uh. Joey, you're taking this too personally. Of course personalities are complex and beautiful, but everybody needs their own brand. You more so than anybody! My brand! <laughs> Every season of the Coven requires every <clears throat> excuse me. Every season of the Coven requires some fresh renewal or adaptation in order to keep audiences interested. Think of it as character growth. Ugh. I'd rather think of it as pass. Come on, it already makes sense. Just look at all the different brands you've had in past seasons. Like what? Like insecure but brave Joy, who fought to fill the shoes of previous Coven leader Grace after her tragic death. Or grim interdimensional survivor Joy, who used the quantum compass to hop through dimensions after the herald of the longest night killed Hope. Or, my personal favorite, stoic heartbroken Joy, who was forced to move on after Liam disappeared in episode 9 until you two properly broke up on good terms. Okay, that was not bad. Wow, you're a pretty big Coven fan, aren't you? This is a devil on some forms, yes. Which is why you should trust me with your next brand transformation. I know Joy Johnson Jojima better than you do. 
Actually, Milo no knows Joey Johnson Jujima only second best. At least, that's what you're going to make them believe. What brand should Joey adopt for the next season? Uh... Okay, that left alone by Milo is uh, helping Joy, so we're going salsa. You're killing it. That sounds fabulous. Ugh. Uh, what? That makes no sense at all. I'm a force of light and good in the world. My brand doesn't include dancing. Which is what will make it so unexpected. Salsa is a spicy, vibrant variety of dance. It'll be the perfect obstacle for the normally doom and gloom joy to overcome. Uh. Hey, just because I wear a lot of black and sing in a screamo band and constantly worry that the world is about to end does not mean I'm doom and gloom. Oh my goddess. Maybe it does. Yeah, see? We should get you a salsa costume right away. I'll get my edible arrangements to, I'll get my edible arrangements guy to make you a fruit that the fruit hat. I'll get my edible arrangements guy to make you a fruit hat before you can even say a riba. What was that, Hinkle? Riba. Uh, how does How, how does the human glue lead to a salsa costume? Because it's, it's, it's the polar it's opposite. Unexpected. It subverts your expectations. Everybody loves that nowadays. No, Milo, I'm serious. I cannot and do not want to dance. Never stop being oh, you. Don't be silly. You can dance. Remember what the esteemed Bob Ross always said. Talent is a pursued interest. Anything you can practice, you can do. Yeah, that's actually a nice quote. I do understand we're on a time crunch, though. Showbiz waits for no one. I'll sign us up for salsa classes immediately. Tell me, who sounds like the more competent teacher to you? Camila Crazy Feet Fernandez or Loco Lorenzo and the Salsi Siete? Bye. Goodbye. Bye, darling. We don't have to be so rude about it. <laughs> hey, great idea, Joy! Divide and conquer! You go start practicing your steps and your twirls, and I'll make headway onto the costume. You stay here and work with me, Scully, since this was your brilliant idea. Tell me, do you envision Joy wearing a blood orange mini dress or a beaded bralette? Well, you can certainly envision one undead hottie wearing those outfits, but it isn't Joy. This is giving you lots of ideas for a sexy Dea de los Muertos. Spend the evening helping Milo brainstorm Salsa Joy ideas. It's not gonna go anywhere, of course, but when has that ever been the point? Finally, I can rest my feet. All right, Vigil, where are you sitting? Uh, what is that thing in the upper left corner? Oh, the moth. Uh, you do gossip, which can make you raise or lower someone's stats, including including your own. I'm gonna talk to the moth. Hey, Arsino. Welcome to the log or whatever. Such an annoyance. Sorry, I'm just a little irritated. Boris the blabbering blob monster was sitting here earlier. He promised to give me some awesome gossip, but he had was Coach's first name. As if that's information A was desperate to hear. I need some real what? gossip. Please tell me you've know. got some. Hey, if it's gossip Moss Man wants, it's gossip he'll get. Time to lie your ass off to get the best reaction possible. Alright, Vigil, pick a player. Uh, let's gossip about Felicia. No, she's just a cute little cat girl. Okay, pick one of these. Radical Italian poetry. Pick another one of these. I think we'll stick like Felicia herself by using a very outdated name. <laughs> what did you say? Now, a celebrity who peaked in the 90s. Uh, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Ah, oh, fits. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got some great gossip, Arsino. My spirits have been lifted. Hope you don't mind if I go tell this to absolutely everyone what you said. Your gossip weaves its way through the rumor mill, and it comes spitting out the other end like so. Who, who wants to voice the cat girl? Not me, because it's saying mean things about me. Hey! Has anyone told you the news about Felicia yet? Well, have you ever wondered why she never takes her shirt off? I heard it's because she has a secret scar on her upper back! A 
apparently it is big! And if you look at it carefully, you can tell that it kind of <laughs> looks like a very outdated meme! Dick butt. <laughs> Crazy, right? But it's Dick even butt. crazier how she got the scar! She was at the cafe! When her order was ready, there was an unexpected turn of events! The barista wrote Felicia's name so wrong that it actually read Bill Clinton! And guess what? <laughs> Bill Clinton was also at that cafe! <laughs> so both Felicia and Bill Clinton claimed that beverage, and the only way out of that situation was, of course, through an old-fashioned duel to the death. Not so well-known fact, Bill Clinton wields the switching blade like an angel, and they inflicted that fatal scar! <laughs> But you know how they say, never bring a knife to a gunfight? Well, Felicia may say, always bring a thick old tome of erotic Italian poetry to a knife fight, because that's what she fought back with! <laughs> and Bill Clinton totally kicked their ass! I wonder if Felicia will ever show anyone her scar. Do you think seeing it would change your opinion of her? Well, regardless of how this scar might hypothetically make you feel, Felicia's reputation is very non-hypothetically altered by this rumor. By for creativity. Well, I don't think you need creativity for Damien, at least. Alright, I'm gonna go to the last log people on it. Because I'm not gonna sit alone. Okay. Later, you're chilling by the fire when you hear a terrifying, blood-curdling, yet also slightly adorable sound. Dahlia and Aravi's hysterical giggling. What's up, loser? Oh, it's Diana. I guess you can hang out with us if you want. We're just finishing up our weekly girl talk session. Girls' night! Yeah, go. Hold on. Girl talk rules, and Aravi and I have so much to talk about. The next topic on our girl talk agenda is healthy eating habits. <laughs> yeah, good topic. Usually I have a small breakfast, but you think the most important meal of the day is the one you consume right before the dungeon mini-boss fight. And obviously, you should only be eating top-notch ingredients. If you start consuming B-tier meals, you'll miss out on a lot of potential stat buffs. I almost sound like Erida. Go for an Erida voice there. <laughs> You're the one missing out, Aravi! Who cares if Doritos are D-tier items that technically lower your offensive stats? They're a cheesy mouth explosion, it's worth it! That reminds me of a really awesome dinner I had a few days ago. Did you guys know that lit grenades are actually really high in fiber? Interesting. We'll test that if, later. By getting if you have a demon lit. metabolism like me, you gotta make sure to get plenty of soluble and insoluble metals in your diet. That's why I eat a lot of airplanes. <laughs> Can we <laughs> deal with that? air life? What's the deal with airline food? <laughs> okay, that works uh, better than mine. Oh, that makes sense. For me, I gotta keep a healthy balance between eating full meals and just regenerating using a flask potion. Potions are convenient, but you can overdo it. Huh, I never really thought about the nutritional value of potions. Like, are, do, you, do they have calories in them? They're gluten-free, yeah. and they want, they're what plants crave. Yeah. So like, yeah, you can really get fat off of potions. I imagine just a uh, guy just drink. I bet they're really sh they're high in sugar. Or I guess you could think of the opposite. They refresh you, but they don't really have nutrients, so you can atrophy off them. So that's why I only partake in diet health potions, or when they're available, health potion zero. For real, it's like me and battle wine. Me and battle wine, I love to have two or three casks after a victory, but if I drink too many, I'll be slightly less bright blue in the next day. Huh? Alia, what do you think about that whole 30 thing? You know, the thing where you're supposed to kill a whole 30 enemies every day for exercise? Aww. I get why people do it, but it takes a bit of the fun out of murdering if you've got to do all the end counting all the time. Mm -hmm. You two are such food jocks! What about you, Diana? If you're the girl talk, then get yeah, with us. You gotta give us some of the tea up on your healthy eating skills. Quick, ex express an opinion on healthy eating habits. Impress one of the lethal hotties. Seize the moment, Diana. Alright, I am going to say... Honestly, my typical meal is eating 34 uncooked potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I rude eat skate. My enemies, 
I eat my enemies for breakfast and for dinner and sometimes as a snack. I like the first one. Honestly, my typical meal is eating 34 uncooked potatoes in the middle of a boss battle. We are Who totally eats their enemies at 3 a.m.? Oh boy, 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I relate so hard. Some people are into calorie counting, but I am into HP counting. I only eat foods with the highest health regenerative stack. And maybe MP if I'm a little peckish. And uncooked potatoes are the number one best health recovery items. Damn, that's some valuable strategic info, Adami. I love girl talk. Just one question. Do the potatoes have to be uncooked? Ah, yeah, they totally do. I've been begging Robbie to make french fries or mashed potatoes or even just wake one potato, but she won't do it. Of course I won't. Cooking the potatoes takes valuable time that could be spent finding more raw potatoes. And I can't tell you how many times my ass has been saved by an uncooked potato. Uh. I could really just go for the Aaron of voice and I think it would work. <laughs> like this one time, I was battling against the Necro Wizard of Hormonaria and the bastard actually got me down to 10 remaining HP. I know, it's super embarrassing. No, it's understandable. His misplaced attacks are hella cowardly. They just come out of nowhere. Well, anyway, my health was down, and he was charging up his finisher power beam attack, and I was just starting pounding as many raw potatoes as I could get in the middle of the battle. And I was getting hella HP from those potatoes, but he got super confused and was like, Ravi, why are you eating so much in the middle of this battle? <sighs> And then he got all offended by it. He was like, I can't believe you. You're being so disrespectful to me right now. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot believe he said that. What a douchebag. He's the most finicky opponent ever. <laughs> I know. After all that, he was finally like, how the fuck are you eating so many potatoes, Ravi? The amount of potatoes you're eating is terrifying. I surrender. So fussy. <laughs> I love a game that gets that self-aware. <laughs> Stop eating so many potatoes. You have to eat all the potatoes. <laughs> what a satisfying victory. Ara oh, it disappeared. Aravi, you are one fearsome warrior and one impressive potato consumer. Thanks. I know. Ugh, girl talk is awesome because it's fun to talk to people who just get me, like X in Dahlia. I mean... And especially to you, Diana. You know me pretty well, so, uh, thanks. Have a potato. Aravi is totally impressed by your boss battle dietary habits, and you two share a romantic dinner of uncooked potatoes later that night. So starchy. Bring out your flasks. That weekend, you feel like getting wasted, so you go visit none other than Juan. Hola! Oh, you know, when I start making magical drinks, I never thought people would actually come to drink them. But hey, who am I to judge? Anyway, take a look at this one. Alright, Felicia, you got the hot shot. Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box, because at this point, who knows what you drink? Just please don't pick the poison. Uh, yeah, I'll drink a hot shot. Hot shot is taking a hot shot. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed. Your prize is the drink you chose. <laughs> Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that. Please don't. You really don't want to drink poison. I don't know why this is still here. I mean, I thought I got rid of it. It just keeps showing up. I, I already took the poison before. Uh, I don't need to be an actual skull. Mmm, ectoplasm. The mystery box, so bold of you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is it again? What the fuck? What, what the fuck? I thought I got rid. I th why does this keep showing? Who keeps pointing the poison here? Seriously, is someone playing a prank on me? Please don't drink this. I know you're dead, but it's not a good idea. Drink the poison! We got him again, Polly. Drink the poison! Taking the poison? Okay. I get the poison. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I guess it's your choice. Been nice knowing you. Uh, okay. 
No idea if I got the recipe right. You want to try it? Otherwise, you always have the mystery box. Now, the flat. This is a special route for whichever character you're going with currently. Ooh. I'll try a flask, Genie. Sounds fun. Know. Take it. Yeah, totally. I was testing your common sense. You passed. The prize is the drink you chose. You haven't gotten this one. Before, uh, right? It's unique to every character, so yeah, we haven't had it at all. I managed to catch a genie inside that flask. It took me years, and you just drank it. I hope you asked for a point of wish at least, like ending world hunger. Fuck yeah! You wish to spend more time with your summer crush. Okay, uh, well, I guess that's a good use of a genie. What? Well, it's straight up poison. Why, why are you drinking that? Please, don't. Why? And you drank it. Uh, well, I'm not liable on this. This is gonna take a toll on your stats, genius. To good fortune. Oh, shit. Rip. Is that all it does? Yes, the poison is po- what, what would you expect it to do? I don't know, something fun? He said it was bad! Yeah, but he's a cat! No, we said it! I would believe a cat says. I even said I took the poison before. Yeah, but you didn't say what it did. Bad! We said bad! <laughs> Well, don't worry, you can get your stuff. Same bad sometimes is good! Well, who knows, maybe you might turn things around. The hot shot! I managed to turn a demonic blood pack into a spicy drink! You drink this one with a friend, okay? Each one of you absorbs the strongest stat of the other one. Okay, Hinkle, who who you all share this with? You know what? Interesting. Uh, we absorb the strongest out of the other one. I don't need my charm. I would like more boldness. Uh, nobody's strongest stat is boldness. Damien might like fun. I could see that being a thing. Um, yeah, I'm taking your boldness. I mean, I'm taking your fun. You take a shima? Uh, yeah. Wow, that's strong. Oh, you, t you oh, just swapped that's entirely. Not quite how I expected that to work. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, now I'm maxed out on charm. Hope you don't need but charm then. I expected it to be a switch. Did you just put my ectoplasm in a cup and drink it? Are you for real? I was analyzing that to understand why some ghosts are so chaotic. Who knows how your body will assimilate that degree of chaos? You could very well start getting inverse stat effects from your out all the outcomes on your adventures. Yeah, I just poured in my mouth. Thanks. Wait, so now I have to fail everything to get stat boosts? Oh fuck! Oh, this I mean, is just interesting. Going to, that's just, just going to a place is going to cost you now. Well, now I wonder if that still makes people dislike you. No, because you always get hearts from an event, no matter what. Oh, uh, okay. Still hard to believe you drank that. Good luck, I guess. This, this, this is gonna be it. I do like that. That's, you have to fail now. Guess they really wanted to show up the people that keep quitting. Everyone choose a movie. End game. <laughs> uh, Wally's Wonderland. Is that a movie? It's the Nicolas Cage Five Nights at Freddy's movie. You're, you animatronics aren't trapped. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. That's literally pretty much what it is. And Nicolas Cage does not say a word the entire time. I'm trying to... What was that? Shrek. Okay. We're back. That old cartoon about the oh, dinosaur. Oh yeah, that one's cool. Okay. okay. Player orders decided based on the likelihood that Diana would survive in said movie she ever. Okay, I'm last. Okay. Uh, I don't like dinosaurs. I mean, it's not there's really much danger. I chose I mean, Endgame. Endgame, yeah. I have a 50% chance of dying right away. Yeah, I think Endgame wins. I mean, it's uh, the you most... Know, it's likely that they would survive, not that they would. Yeah. What's the most oh, safe one? Like, they survive. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, where we're back is pretty much just Earth, except if I'm actually like part of the movie's plot, I assume like the Doctor is gonna take good care of me. Like he doesn't let anything bad happen. I mean, uh, I don't remember. I only had the book of that movie, but I don't think anyone really died. Do dinosaurs right? go feral at the end, though? The do, dinosaurs, they, they, no, they don't. At, not at the end. There, there's a really creepy part with a where they end up in a carnival. The carnival does make them. The, the creepy owner of the carnival makes them go feral. Well, well I, also, I would say, uh, since that's an Earth, a movie of Earth, would that imply Shima is in that location, or just he's wherever he is now, and the movie takes place wherever it takes place? I assume I'm like in the plot of the movie. Okay, like, so in the movie. In the movie oh, okay, so it's in wherever the location of the movie is then. Yeah. I mean, again. I guess if it, most likely it's either me or. Well, if you are Timber. Shrek. Shrek. It was Shrek, and Shrek's pretty uh, safe, but Shrek yeah, is a very fine. kill world. Yeah, Shrek has been the Shrek world. I'd go Shrek in it where that. All, All right, right. I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. Shrek, uh, Shrek's, you know, Shrek has some dangers to it being a fairy tale world, but you know, Shrek. you've never seen anyone die in Shrek. We're back. Not a okay, so it comes to Endgame or Wally's Wonderland. I could probably survive as a civvy in the background in Endgame, maybe. I don't know if... Like, Endgame is 50-50 you die before it even gets to the bad things happening. I think it's the most dangerous movie. I don't know. How well would you survive locked in a... Uh, oh, you're Chuck E. Cheese. How well I would do it Five Nights at Freddy's? Not well. I would not do well. Yeah, you are locked in there with like five animatronics. Oh, I it's would, five I would die. Night at Freddy's that this is. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's Five Nights at Freddy's, but with Nicolas Cage. But and I you am not you Nicolas you are Cage. not. Oh, yeah, you. Oh wait, hold on. Do I have Nicolas Cage to protect me? Uh, do I have Nicolas Cage to I don't want to give away much of the movie, but there are other people I, in there and. Just the fact that Nicolas Cage is around doesn't really help them at all. Uh, you know, I would say I'm willing to take Endgame last. I, I, I'm willing to go last on Endgame and put your, you third. I don't know. I feel like you'd still have better chance in Endgame than here. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, I mean, well, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain about not going last. If you want yeah, to I, I have to give you, I, you. You. I feel like you would die. No offense to you, but oh, you're, no, you're, 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 you're not a Nicolas Cage. I don't have any shame in saying that I probably won't survive the situation that is Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, uh, 